Beautiful. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Happy Friday. We're going to earn our weekend today. It's a full body workout. Um, if you've taken classes with me before, I do a lot of boxing fitness stuff, but today is going to be more about just a good burn. So it's a quick and dirty one. Um, lots of abs. So hopefully you're happy about that. Um, and how we're going to do it is I'll warm us up really quickly. And then after the warm up, when we're ready to go, loosey goosey, um, I'll explain it. We'll just go circuit by circuit. There's four circuits today, and then there's two ab blasters, and we'll call it a wrap. Cool. So I'll just do one at a time so you don't have to remember so much because if you're like me, you might just be waking up still. Cool. Um, all right. So ladies, let's uh, spread out whatever you're working with. I'm at home. Um, so I'm working in my little den area. So I'll make sure you can see me best we can if I need to adjust. Um, just shout out at me. I think, yeah, I think Emily, she muted all of you. So just chat me if you need me. Okay. Um, but otherwise, on your feet and we will start warming up. All right, first up, guys, we're gonna go ahead and give me a hurdle squat. Keep the knee up your chest, open out wide, drop it low, weight in your heels, other leg up and around, drop it low. Warm it up, that blood flowing. Standing, all chain toe touch, opposite hand, opposite toes, reach straight ahead. Swing and reach. A few more. Okay, you get more stretch on your interim push up from standing, and you say, take down your toes, walk it down to a plank position, push up to the ground, back to your plank, walk back to your toes, stand up, do it again, keep going. A few more. I hate that song. Yeah, feel like they're talking to me. And I can pull behind your legs. Another day, another dump. Another Keisha, nice to meet you. Get the mad bottom One more. Doing a club life. It's easy to be. But it's harder to be sure. Standing legs wide, cross twist. Take your chest down. Big circle around. Lean back. Go the other way. 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 You get a plank, you have a plank jack. If you're going to go out and in, wide in. You know, you have to right, you have to left, 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 you have to Basket. Take low squat jumps. Melt it. Explode or give it air squats. But it feels good. Last movement. Don't keep going. Almost there. For three, two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. All right. Hope you're nice and loose. Got that blood flowing a little bit. Make um, sure you got water nearby. So what we're going to do, like I said, it's going to be four circuits, how timing will go, 30 seconds at each move, 10 second rest recovery in between each of them, and we're gonna hit each move four times total. So this first circuit, you have two different moves, we'll do move one together for 30 seconds, 10 second rest, move two, 30 seconds, 10 second rest, go back and forth, so we've done those four times, uh, check them off, you're done with them, cool? First movement, or first circuit, I should say, you're gonna need a mini band um, for your legs, okay? If you don't have one, all good, you'll still feel that burn, but if you have one, we're gonna go ahead and put it on above our knees, okay? It'll be above our knees for both moves. Uh, so get ready to really wake up those leggers and booties, okay? Um, we'll go back and forth till we've done those. And then um, you have a water break afterwards. I'll show you circuit two. After circuit two, you have your first ab blaster. So that'll be your first long one, your kind of nice halftime show. And then you won't see another ab blast till your grand finale at the very end of class. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sucker on. It's gonna be above my knees, like I said. The first move is going to go ahead, you can see me, cool, it's going to be a squat tap out and jump. So you're going to get nice and low, make sure the band again is above your knees, you're never buckling in, pushing them out. From here, you're going to tap out right to center, left to center, notice I'm holding that squat, so sitting back in that chair, so tap out, tap out, then from there, big jump up, land back down, right, left, squat jump, take it back down. That's too much, you can always tap, tap, air squat up, take it down, just make sure again, we're never buckling, always bring that band nice and tight. 10 second rest, shake it out, and then we're gonna go right into banded speed skaters. Same thing, never buckle, we're really just push out those knees the entire time, get used to it. From there, speed skater, you're rotating over that opposite hip there, side to side, jump it out. Too much uh, step, take it down, step, 
take it down. Again, those feel that nice burn, wake up that lower half. Those two, four times each, and you get a break. Cool. And again, if you don't have a band, you'll still feel it. Same movements, just imagine there's a band there and you're working those legs. I'm actually gonna take it up to my a black band. That one felt a little too easy. All right, team, get ready. So we're starting with those tap outs to jump. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Tap, tap, big jump. Time is going up. Adjust this. You have to see me in my little living room here. Keep going, guys, right halfway. Rest in 10 seconds off, shake it out, get ready for speed skaters. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Side to side, add that rotation, make it a little harder, engage your core. Good. Step the tap. Halfway. Two, one, press, go baby, first 
Feel of the day. Check it off. Good job, guys. Keep it there. Last time. In two. One. Take off. Turn that first water break. Come on, girls. Come on. Halfway. Almost there. Come on. Put those knees out. For three, two, one, rest. Rip that band off. Cool, baby. Good job, ladies. First break of the workout. Whew, my beeper's vibrating. Whew. Grab some water. And now I get to show you circuit two. So give our legs a little bit of a breather. Um, you will need two dumbbells if you got them. If not, we can modify, no big deal. But I would say light to medium weight. I'm doing a burpee shoulder press, okay? So if you have even a torpedo or something longer of a weight, you can always use that or one dumbbell. Um, that could work too, okay? Because um, you'll be grabbing together, kind of curling and pressing right above. And then we're gonna go into a little cardio of toe taps. Um, if you have a dumbbell on the ground, or some sort of ball um, for a little elevation, I'm gonna be tapping up, I'll see the soccer stars um, back and forth on those two, okay? So what does that look like? All right, so two dumbbells from here. Go ahead, you're gonna take it down to the ground. You're gonna hop that plank position. You're gonna push up for your burpee, take it up, hop your feet, take the dumbbells to your shoulders, big press above, take it back down. Too much, you gotta walk it out, go to my knees for that push up, walk it up, go ahead, take my shoulders, big press right above my head. Um, if you do not have dumbbells, you can just give me burpees, okay? So straight up burpees, you're gonna have fun, a little cardio burn this one. Toe taps, like I was saying, if you have a dumbbell, look like what you just used, go ahead and put it on the floor and just have some sort of target to tap, tap, tap. Think about using your core, think about pulling your knees up in that motion. Tap, 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 tap. Really engaging there the whole time for 30 seconds. We will have our first app blaster afterwards. We'll give you like a little breather. I'll show you those four moves. It's six minutes long for each ab we're gonna earn. We'll have a six pack at the end. Cool. Okie dokie. Burpee. Shoulder press, get ready to rock and roll. <sighs> Where's my music? <sighs> We're going. Get ready, team. Burpee shoulder press in three, two, and one. We're going. Keep it up. Keep going. How many can we get in? 30 seconds of work. For two, one, rest. All right, take that down on the ground. You're ready for toe tap. Shake it out, get your heart rate up. In three, two, and one. We're going. Good. Get things up on the knees up. Keep breathing. For ten. Five. Two. One. Rest. Good job. All right. So you see those three more times. You know the moves now. Again, chat is always there if you have any questions for that, okay? In two. One. Back to work. Perfect shoulder press. Keep going, keep going. 20 seconds. Woo! Nice. Nice. 
you to take your footwork. 10 seconds. Almost there. For two. One. Rest. Great job, guys. We are halfway through the circuit. Third time through. Get ready. Woo. In three. Two. One. Burp control. Go. Third time through. Woo. job guys nice and warm should be nice and sweaty so six minutes of abs no break four moves you're gonna go through three times each hitting them for 30 seconds okay so still 30 second nice timer what we're used to so far our body's adjusted to that but there's no 10 second break you're just going from one move to the next move to the next move six minutes straight okay so i'll demo those uh four moves you'll be doing should be able to see that thing here all right first one with any leg lifts. All right, so leg lifts with this one, guys. Laying flat here, you got that 90 degree hinge in your legs. You're driving them down with your heels down, keeping your back totally flat, then squeezing through your core straight with that 90 degree angle. So just down and up. You want to add a weight, you can always hold it above, or if you have a fan, you want to pull across your chest, and you need to activate that um, core a little bit more. 30 seconds there. You'll stay on your back for an alternating toe touch. So, so you'll be in a surfish position on the ground. Hopefully your room. Um, from here, lean with your chest, opposite hand, reaching for opposite toe, rotate the top, big twist, lift your back hand, lay it down, come up, other side. If that's too much, have a hand by your hip to help push you up and reach. Other hand, push you up and reach, gain a nice little rotation. Next one, third one, you'll flip over for a plank hold. So onto your forearm, shoulders over elbows, chest square, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure your butt isn't down. Make sure, or make sure your butt isn't up, I should say. Make sure your core is not dropping. You can always add a little leg lift if you want. So a little leg lift for three to five seconds. Take it down. Other one, three to five. Take it down. Last one, break dancers. You're going to get a bear hover position. So think about that nice tabletop. Your hips are over your knees, different core in. Shoulder those wrists in a line, flat back. Tuck your toes under. Um, Goodbye, Kim. Uh, 
My fiance just went to work. He's on his way up. Um, from here, take your knees, about an inch or two off the ground, and then you're gonna go ahead and rotate, drop your booty down, reaching for your toes like so, and you're gonna take it right back to that bear hover, twist the other way, a little swivel, drop your booty, reach for your toes. If that is too much, just give me little swivels, drag your knee across your chest, side to side, feel a nice activation of those obliques. And you get to do that three times in a row, six minutes long. Cool? Just lay on down. I'm gonna turn my fan on a little bit. Um, lay on down. We'll get started with leg lifts. So 30 seconds each, three times through. We can rest and get some water afterwards. It is your halftime show. We ready to rock? No choice. We're going. In three, two, and one. Leg lift. 30 seconds. Get 
end up logging in. You're doing awesome. Let's go. Every movement gets a little better, a little stronger. Ten seconds. Come on. Back flat for five. Belly, push yourself up on your hands, stretch out your core. <sighs> How are we feeling? Well, you're exactly halfway through. Okay, we have two new circuits to get through, and then you have to do the exact same abs as your grand finale. Okie dokie, you will need a band once again. Um, it's gonna be for arms though, so if you have a lighter resistance, I would grab it. So I'm gonna go with my blue one this time. So you can see me. <sighs> Okie dokie. So we're doing a banded lat pull down. You can go around your wrist. Think about that pull up motion up top. So I'll bend down just so you can see. You will be standing tall, right? Make sure your shoulders over your elbows. You're tucking your butt under so your core is engaged. Hands are just above your head. You're going to pull down like a pull up motion. Biggest thing here is you're going wide with your arms, squeezing your back together, squeezing those lats right in your armpits, building in that muscle group there. You're going to pull. Down, and that pull up bar, that band is right touching your chest like so. Again, like I said, tuck your butt under, engage your core there, and then take it back up. What I don't want to see is if your band is too tight, it's going like down and up, and you're going wide and down, and then take it back up. You go right into a half burpee with that one, so keep your cardio going, okay? So, you're going to do lat pull down, back up, hands, there's your room here, don't kick myself, hands around, half burpee, so no push up, right back up, take it up, lat pull down, Hands down, half burpee, take it back up. All right, so up, down motion, think about those levels, pull down to a plank, right back to your feet. Then you'll ditch this sucker, you'll use your weights. I'm gonna give you one or two, um, and depending if they're light or heavy, I'll give you some options for a tricep kickback, okay? So you have light enough weights, you use both of them. You're gonna go ahead, bend over to so that nice hinging motion. You're gonna pushing your butt back so your chest goes forward, make your toes are forward from here. You're gonna go ahead, straight ahead. Take up to your sides, hugging your ribcage the whole time. Try some kickbacks, squeeze, and then take it right back in. Just going back and forth, chest proud, shoulders and hips in a nice neutral line. If that is too much, or you're working with one dumbbell or it's too heavy, go ahead, stagger your stance. Same thing, just lean forward, push your butt back. Same thing, take it up and just do one arm for the first 30 seconds. Break, you'll go to your lat pull down. Second time you end up here, other arm. For 30 seconds, you'll end up getting each arm in twice. Make sense? So whatever weights you're working with, whatever you're feeling, either at the same time or burn out one for 30, next for 30, back and forth, get each arm twice. Sound like a plan? And no abs after this. So just 30 seconds, four times through, and you get your final water break before game time, finish her out strong. Okie dokie. Let's go. Reset my timer. Banded lat pull down, half burpee. If you have no band, you can just give me half burpees the whole time or use your weights to pull down and open, okay? 
you know, we're all working with different stuff at home. So whatever you got, we'll make it work. Get ready. In three, two, and one. Pull down. Half a beat. Tears that I cry. Nice. 
Shake them out, grab some water, towel off. We have one new circuit and then the exact same abs that you'll be finishing with to even out. You're gonna get a six pack the first time. Got a second opportunity, six minutes of the same thing. Water, so yummy. Um, all right, what do I have in store for you? <sighs> all right, first one, we new jumping jack punches. So a little bit of boxing in, cool. Um, it wouldn't be a hard for class without a little bit of something punching, right? All right, so with that sucker, <clears throat> fight your arms right up top, bring your face from here. Imagine narrow stances are together. You are going to rotate. Think about that stance switch of your hip going right in front of you. So your right hip, right punch things at the same time. Punch forward as you go back, back to a narrow stance. Other side. So you're just doing a jumping jack at a rotation, punching straight ahead. Cool? So add a little core rotation. That is too much. You can always step it out. Punch, punch, just get that nice motion straight ahead using your hip to go towards your computer or TV or whatever you're looking at, okay? So think about shoulders over hips all the time, core engaged. And again, it's just that nice punch straight ahead, that nice jab, um, take it to the screen, okay? <sighs> Last new one, yay. Um, we have manage number two, two plank jacks into two froggers. So you'll be down on the ground. What that look like? See me? So plank jack, your feet start together, your chest is square, you're gonna go out and in for two, out for one, out for two. Now you're in the narrow stance for two frogs. Feet go wide, drop your booty, release your hands for one, back to it for two, back to it, and then right back in. You can always step out, step out, and then do that four times, and then walk it forward, release, walk it back. So if you need to walk it first, jump it. Those are your options. It's just a lot of cardio. To finish this out. Get in the abs, and you're on with your Friday or weekend or whatever. Got to work. Sorry, but you're close. Okay. Jack punches. In three, two, and one. Let's see what you got. Put her on. Push Two down, two to go. 
up. Back to our jumping jack. Shake it out. You got five seconds to breathe. In two, one. Show me what you got, ladies. Come on. Punch it out. Big release. Come on, come on. Whew. Keep going, keep going. 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Whew. 10 more. Hold on, Jay. Just gotta keep it tight. Three, two, one. Rest. Take it down. Third time. Whew. Shoulders down. Neck long, so no turtles out there. In two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Close. Last four minutes. Back 
your flat, right? No space, no space. 10 seconds. Right. Partner, keep on rolling, baby. You know Five more. Very fucking perfect. And on the next toe touch.